Hey, what is up everybody? It is the Teenage Toy Collector coming at you with a new review today. And today, the review is of the Transformers Fall of Cybertron Sideswipe. Now, Sideswipe, we can see here, is a Cybertronian car. Um, it looks pretty nice. However, there are some parts where you can see through, and I don't really like that. And I also don't like this piece right here. Now, I don't know if I'm transforming something wrong, but I haven't been able to find how to tuck that in. So, to me, it looks a little clanky right there, and you can see his hands. But other than that, it's a pretty nice, sleek look, and I really enjoy... These right here, some kind of like spoiler, but it's not a connected spoiler. Um, I don't have the package, the packaging anymore, so I'm going to put a picture of it up in the top left. So you will see that, and I'm sorry about that, but it's been a few years since I picked this guy up. I actually picked him up at a Toys R Us, and you know, rip Toys R Us. Oh, and also you could see right through the hole right there. I don't even know if you could have seen that earlier. Um, he does come with a weapon. It's just some kind of gun. I'm not sure if this gun has a name, but it's very, very heavy for him in robot mode, and I'll show you more of that when I transform him, but that can peg in right here, and he can ride around with this huge cannon, and I mean, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, I prefer him without it, though. It just looks nicer. Um, he rolls all right, as you can see. Um, for a comparison, here is the Dark of the Moon Jazz. Now, Jazz is... A lot larger, as you can see, and they're both deluxe class, but I think it's just because this is a different line. Sometimes that's why I don't like comparing two toys of different lines, because this is the Fall of Cybertron and this is the Dark of the Moon. But however, still deluxe class, still the same price. So you can see there's a big size difference, especially in girth there. And here they are on top of each other. So you can see there's a couple inches there. So, yeah. So a little tiny, but still really cool. So let's go ahead and transform this guy. All right, for Sideswipe's transformation, it is fairly simple with one kind of complex part. So to start it off, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back to the back wheels with the hands and disconnect them from the main body. And you're gonna go ahead and twist those all the way until they connect there. It will have a snapping noise. There's actually, I'm not sure if there's a peg. However, it does, it's on some kind of joint to where it does snap, so. There you go, you can hear that. And they're gonna go ahead and fold these hands out and take that off. And that's pretty much, we can leave it there for now. What we're gonna do after that is come under here and you can see these, they kind of look like wheels, so I feel like they didn't know how to <laughs> make the transformation to where these would end up here, so they just added fake ones. It's kind of like when you have the jeans with fake pockets, like what's the point? So you're gonna bring those down and they do connect together, but they're kind of loose, so they usually just come apart. And then you can go ahead and flip those feet down. Now, this is the weird uh, kind of tricky part, but really it's not that difficult. You just kind of have to fiddle with it sometimes. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and push this piece as far as down as you can. And then you're going to come back here to the spoiler that I mentioned earlier. And you're going to bend it. As so and you're gonna see you can see his face down here and you're gonna bring it up bring it up to the chest piece right here and that's gonna kind of snap in place so there you can see he kind of has this awkward peeking over his chest kind of look and I wish they would have raised him up a little bit more or maybe I'm just missing something you know I'm not actually sure so now you can turn around these turn these around I mean <clears throat> you know to make his arms see you really just have to mess with this sometimes man anyways there we go here is side swipe in his robot mode um <laughs> he you know I, I really like his character and I like the vehicle mode but, I don't know. There's just something about this robot mode that doesn't really do it for me. I don't know if it's his huge chest or his awkward side profile. But, I don't know. You know, and I've tried different ways of transforming this guy, and I really can't find anything. 
But yeah, this is him in robot mode. Um, he's still a little tall. My joints are a little loose. I don't know if that's how it is on everybody's figure, but that's how it is on mine. Um, for a comparison, here is the Transformers Prime Viacon. They're kind of similar in size, as you can see. But yeah. And then another pet peeve I have about this figure is the gun. Now, the gun does look pretty cool. I will give it that. It does look pretty cool and futuristic. However, due to the loose joints and the heavy gun, as you can see, he cannot hold it. And look, at his chest just comes apart, like, left and right all the time. But as I was saying, he can't hold his gun. So that is a big, big, big con and a big letdown. So overall, I'll give this figure about a about a 6 out of 10 just for the cool robot, I mean, for the cool vehicle mode. But overall, it's not a figure that you should really stress about not having. But if you do see him, you should just pick him up. Um, but yeah, so that is Sideswipe. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you look forward to more content because I really want to bring more content to you guys and to YouTube. So yeah, thank you for watching again and I'll see you guys on the next video.